A construction worker discovered a second safe hidden in the walls of the Miami mansion once owned by the late drug lord Pablo Escobar. The waterfront home was demolished last week. That is when the first safe was found in the floor. The current owner says that one was stolen shortly after it was discovered. This time, however, they have stored the second safe in a secret location and they plan to open it today. Officials say the mansion was likely used as a safe place to stash cash as well as tons of cocaine. The U.S. government seized that home in 1987. Have you been watching uh, Narcos on Netflix? I watched the whole thing. So me too, right? So remember that whole the, part of the story was about how they made so much money, they were burying it burying all it. over the place. Didn't know what to do with it. Didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, they couldn't spend it fast it enough. Or they couldn't launder it fast enough. And um, they were burying it in all these places. And then one guy found $3 million. And he was too scared to keep it, right? He was <laughs> the like, farmer, I, don't, yeah. I don't want this. I don't he want this money. He gave it back to, to Pablo Escobar. <laughs> or he gave it to his, uh, his henchmen or the guys yeah. who were running the um, business for him, and then he killed him. Such a good series. I love how they integrate real footage from the 80s yes. and the war on drugs. It reminded me of the fashion we used to wear back then, uh, but it's a fantastic <laughs> series. Really good, really good. Yeah, it is.